hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we want to learn how to find collinear points by using the area of a triangle formula now in our previous two tutorials we did look at how to find collinear points using the slope or the gradient formula and the distance or the length formula now in today's video we want to look at how to find if three points are collinear by choosing the area of a triangle formula now we said collinear points are two or three points that can be found on a straight line so any point that can be found on a straight line we said they are collinear points so let's look at something so assuming we have a straight line here let me just draw a straight line assuming we have a straight line here and we have one point here a another point here b with their coordinates respectively another one here c now if you look at these three points there is no way you can join these three points to make a triangle no possible way but what if let's say we have point a here and then point b in a straight line with it but point c is slightly displaced downward so it's not in line with a b and c it's somewhere let's say slightly down here so this is point a this is point b and this is c if this becomes the case you see that you can join okay that is a terrible line so if that happens you can see that you can join the point a to b b to c and then c to a to form some sort of triangle whether isosceles whether scaling or right angle triangle you could form any type of triangle if one of the points is displaced but if all of them are in straight line you cannot get a triangle so the whole idea behind the triangle formula is that if three points are collinear then the area of the triangle should be zero because they will not form any triangle so we are not expecting any value for the area of the triangle but if they are not collinear points then we should get the value for the area of a triangle so suppose we have the points let's say p which has the coordinate x1 y1 and then we have another point q with the coordinate x2 y2 and another point r with the coordinate x3 y3 now using these three points how do we use the area of a triangle formula to show that the three points are collinear we do that by using the formula half then we have like matrix x we have x1 minus x2 then we leave room x2 minus x3 then we have here y1 minus y2 then we have y2 minus y1 sorry y2 minus y3 here should be equal to zero so this is a two by two matrix we know how to solve a two by two matrix to the to find a determinant so all we have to do is to solve this formula as a two by two matrix find the determinant and then multiply it by half if we multiply it by one by half and we get zero then we know that those three points are collinear point and hence cannot form any triangle because they are in a straight line so this is the formula we'll be using to find if three or more points are collinear so let's go ahead and look at how to use this formula in uh, real time so we have to find if the point p 2 3 q 4 0 and r 6 negative 3 are collinear points so let's write down our solution now we know that we are using the area of a triangle formula and not the distance or the slope formula so this time around i'm going to write my p the coordinate 2 3 i write my q 4 0 and I write my R 6 negative 3 so from here I'm going to label my coordinates this is my x1 y1 s2 y2 this is my s3 y3 all right so we know that if P Q and R are collinear points then it means that half then we have x1 minus x2 s2 minus x3 y1 minus y2 y2 minus y3 should be equal to zero since they are collinear points so all we have to do from here is to do our substitution so we have half 
multiplied by our x1 is 2 here minus x2 is 4 then x2 is 4 minus x3 which is 6 this is equal to 0 then my y1 is 3 minus my y2 which is 0 and my y2 is 0 minus my y3 which is negative 3 so this will be equal to I have my half outside bracket then 2 minus 4 will give me a negative 2 then 4 minus 6 will give me a negative 2 then I have 3 minus 0 will give me 3 and 0 minus minus 3 will become plus 3 so I have 3 here is equal to 0 now you know that when solving matrix x 2 by 2 matrix to find a determinant you multiply the leading diagonal which is these two guys first and you subtract the other diagonal from it so we are having half then into bracket you multiply the leading diagonal so it will be negative 2 multiplied by 3 minus then the other diagonal so it will be 3 multiplied by negative 2 over here should be equal to 0 so I have here half into bracket sorry by matrix bars so minus 2 multiplied by 3 will give me a minus 6 minus this minus 3 multiplied by negative 2 will give me a minus 6 again and so this is equal to half minus 6 plus 6 and negative 6 plus 6 is 0 multiplied by half is still 0 so this is equal to 0 and so because after solving everything over here we get 0 it therefore means that the points P, Q, and R are collinear. They are collinear since the area is equal to zero. Since the area of the triangle is equal to zero. All right. So let's have a look at another example to further understand what we are talking about. So we are to show that the points A, B, and C are collinear using the area of a triangle formula all right so let's write down our solution as usual i write down my points so i have 5 2 for a b with the coordinates 3 negative 2 and c with the coordinates 8 and 8 so i'll go ahead and label my coordinates so this is my x1 y1 my s2 y2 my s3 y3 and so i know that if points a b and c are collinear and i'm using the area of the triangle formula it means that half x1 minus x2 x2 minus s3 y1 minus y2 y2 minus y3 should be equal to zero so over here, I go ahead and do my substitution. So my S1 is 5, minus my S2 is 3, my S2 is 3, minus my S3, which is 8, is equal to, my Y1 is 2, minus my Y2, which is negative 2, then I have negative 2 as my Y2, minus 8 as my Y3. So from here, I have half, then 5 minus 3 will give me a positive 2. 3 minus 8 will give me a negative 5. 2 minus minus 2 will give me a positive 4 since the negative negative becomes positive. And then negative 2, negative 8 give me a negative 10 over here. This is equal to 0. So I'm going to multiply the leading diagonal and subtract the second diagonal from it. So it will be... I have 2 multiplied by negative 10 minus then the adjacent diagonal 4 multiplied by negative 5 is equal to 0. So I have here half and to bracket 2 multiplied by negative 10 will give me negative 20 minus 4 multiplied by negative 5 will give me negative 20. So I have here half multiplied by negative 20 negative negative becomes positive 20 so this is half multiplied by 0 
is equal to zero and so zero is equal to zero all right so because the area of the formula the area of the triangle after calculating is equal to zero we can therefore conclude that the points a with the coordinate 5 2 b with the coordinate 3 negative 2 and c with the coordinate 8 8 are collinear points since the area of the triangle is equal to zero so thank you so much for watching this is how we calculate the collinear points to find whether the points two or more points are collinear using the area of a triangle formula all right so i will see you in the next video where we'll be talking about the equations of a straight line given one point so thank you once again and i'll see you in the next video bye bye